Hi, I'd like to introduce one of my new journals. It's a, a soft back, well-reinforced journal with a beautiful flower on it and just a tab that says journal. <laughs> and it's some upholstery fabric, he pretty heavy weight. And it's just uh, got a ribbon closure that's the same nice deep burgundy maroony color and this is just uh an homage to flowers all things flowers so there were many books written about old flowers i made a journal card out of one of them this is a three signature book that has uh, 88 writing surfaces it's five and an eighth by seven and three quarters and the spine is i uh, I want to say about an inch and an eighth. Here's another pretty flower. I've just tried to use all the flowers. This is some metallic flower paper and a pretty little butterfly stamp. I've used coffee dyed paper in here with stamps and some designer paper that went with that same vintage feel. Some butterflies maps it says there is nothing simpler some coffee dyed paper this is just some pretty rose paper and then i've got a little envelope attached and it i made the paper clip for that and it's got a pretty little floral card that goes inside of the envelope and i want to say the envelope was from Gee, I, I want to say, or G, I'm not certain how you pronounce her name. And then I've got a little sticker. I think that's a Tracy Fox sticker. Coffee dyed paper, and then a stamp just with numbers on the bottom. Plenty of room for writing in here, but this is a nice, really nice size journal, I feel like. It sits well in your hands. Some lined paper, more stenciled paper. And then this is fun. I folded this up. It's really the word adventure, but if when you fold it up, it's kind of a mystery as to exactly what it says. We've got a pretty tag in here that is flowers, a flower tab on it, and some fern here and a little bit, another specimen kind of stick uh, card that I think I got from Tracy Fox. And I just love all this paper. This has got a little metallic. This one says Journey. And we've got this beautiful journaling card. And this says Naturalists. And this again comes from, from the same section as that other from Guy Kerr, I think is her name, or G Kerr, G I. And some pretty green paper here. And then a stamp of a rose. And this is uh, actually paper from a legal pad. <laughs> and then a little specimen card here that I believe is from Tracy Fox, I'm pretty sure. And designer paper, and then a little bit of alphabet here and alphabet here. And then we've got some pretty little uh, floral cards in this little fabric pocket. And some more of the coffee dyed paper. I've got uh, lots and lots of space. I, I, I didn't want to over embellish. I wanted to leave, I like to have room to write in my journals. And I like to have room to put some of my own ideas as to what I would like in it. So this is not overly embellished. This is a nice tag that's, and then, oh my goodness, isn't this gorgeous paper? And it says field notes. And it's got a little specimen card, a little map in here, and then the pretty metallic paper, some designer paper, and more of the lined paper. And then I made that look like it was a little window by punching out a circle and punching a little smaller circle. And then on this side, it's like a, a special heavier cardstock where you could write something or stamp something. 
stamp and then a little pretty piece of pretty lace on it, some of the decorator paper. And then it just stenciled, it says find. And some more of that uh, paper out of the notebook. And another one of these pulley things where you can pull down and push up and you've got something totally different. A stenciled sunflower and coffee dyed um, doily with and then at the bottom of the page here we've got some numbers and then just some plain paper to write or sketch or whatever and the number six and another stencil and just a cute little card up here and then in here we have a tag, a picture of a Victorian lady. And then I've made these, you can put something here and here and here and here and here. But I didn't uh, add a bunch of stuff because I wanted you to be able to take it apart and use it as a pattern to try to make your own of these because they are quite interesting. I made this with a, uh, a glossy book page. So, it's kind of like an origami thing, I guess. And then you've got this old looking uh, postcard that was out of a paper pack. And then the back cover is unembellished. And the tie is tied on the side as such. And voila! This little journal is going to be up in our Etsy shop today. Thank you.